Hi, welcome to another Launchbox tutorial. Uh, this is on Launchbox, and we're going to try and focus on setting up, helping you set up uh, Xenia for the Xbox 360. Uh, I notice there's not many videos on this, so I'm going to give you a guide and uh, start. What you need to do is click into your hard drive where you're keeping your Launchbox. Uh, mine is the. Uh, there we go. Mine's, I've got mine set up as emulators with the games in there. So emulators, type in a folder there, create one called Xbox 360 or Microsoft Xbox 360, your choice. Once you've downloaded Xenia from the website and Xenia Canary, do both, put them in the same folder because it will help. Because what works with that one doesn't work on that one and what doesn't work works on that one doesn't work with that one. So you need both of them. Uh, you can switch them later on in the emulator. So once you've got that installed, you're ready to make sure you've got some games, some ROMs, ISOs. So in your folder, type in uh, Microsoft Xbox 360. I put some ROMs in mine. ISOs, Microsoft Xbox 360, in, the, in there with all the rest of my stuff. Then you're ready to go to Launchbox. And in Launchbox, we'll just open it up. To my PlayStation 2 stuff, as you can see, all the consoles I have. With that, I have far too many. Uh, so, yeah, you have to create one. So, what you need to do is go to Tools, Manage Emulators, uh, scroll down to an empty box, add one. I've already created mine. What you need to do is type in Xenia, like so, Xbox 360. Find the application path, I'll show you, I've already done mine, so, but I'll show you how to do that. Go to your emulators folder, and then in your emulators folder, remember what you named it as for the emulator, Xbox 360, I've got mine. And then you can either select the Xenia or Xenia Canary. Red Dead Redemption works better with the Canary. Uh, the games like Mortal Kombat, DC Universe work better with Xenia, etc. So you can use both of them and switch them as you use them in the editing option. So once you've selected one of those, click open and it'll bring you to back to this menu. Associated platforms, type in Microsoft Xbox 360, click as the default emulator and then click OK. And then it should appear here. Once you've done that, close. And then you'll be ready to import your ROMs. So click Tools again, Import, ROM files, next, Add file, select your ROM. I've already done mine, so there's no point in doing it. Just click on the ROM, the disk. Click Open. I'll just do one just for the sake of doing one now, just in case. Click Open. Once you've added that file, click Next. Select your emulator. So what you want to do is go down to uh, what platform it's for. So find Microsoft Xbox 360. Uh, I've probably gone past it. Microsoft 360, there you go. Click Next. Open with an emulator, Xenia. Click Next, leave the files where you've put them, click Next, uh, it'll search for the metadata, recommend using EMU Movies to get all your box art as well, so sign up to one of those accounts, it's free, click Next, I won't do the final step because I've already done it, it'll just confuse my, my hard drive, uh, so once you've clicked all on all the banners, click Next, you don't need to change anything there, click next and it will be ready to import it will be in there, just click finish and it will do it, it will search for all the covers for a quick couple of seconds and bang you're ready it's already pre-set up Xenia so if you don't need to, as long as you've got a, a, like an Xbox controller or a Playstation controller or a USB that's similar to one of those, it's already set up and configured for you and that will bring you like mine my Xbox 360 is there Click, and that's what I've got in mind so far. And they run fine. The full screen option is not available just yet. Uh, but yeah, we'll, I'll just click something on quickly and show you. 
as you can see there's a bit it's a canary and it'll load up it's loading the shaders in and once it's loaded normally normally quicker than this you'll be ready to play the game there you go press F11 and you can go full screen like so and it works pretty good some games work well but it's still on early stages of development press escape to quit when you're ready and then just close the window down